Hello, it's we are back. First day, and this is a special video because we have something to review. Yeah, usually I send out to any reviews, but these people they are doing like proper quality stuff. You remember? Um, let me show you. It's about it's it's, it's about a multimeter. Yeah? And they are the same people. They send me that power supply. Miniware. Uh, they sent me that uh, adjustable power supply, the small one, and also the solder iron. You remember this digital uh, OLED solder iron? Yeah, same people. So they they made now a multimeter. A very small and useful. I use it for a while. It's very helpful. Tweezer. So hopefully you can see now is resistance, yeah, capacity, is, um, uh, inductance, it just start in, uh, frequency, yeah, volts, and resistance back, and also you have some uh, uh, capacity. signal generator you can see 1000 uh, kilo uh, 1000 hertz you can generate noise user uh, define so you can uh, define um, a frequency pulse yeah sinusoidal it's 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 a very very nice toy look here yeah you can uh, charge it easily it has an adapter you connect this here and you have USB-C USB-C and probably this is a fast charge or it's not fast charge like 56 milliamps it's not fast charge but you can see it's charging so the, actually the battery is here it's not here so the multimeter is this proper nice you see there are companies which probably you uh, is not that so popular and this company same like DJI DJI a few years ago never heard about DJI and they, they made like proper uh, quality stuff and obviously now are like the somewhere on the top same like this company every every everything what i test from this company was like proper quality like top quality like the, that power supply and the solar iron i'm still have the solar iron here i don't use it because i need an extension on my desk because it's five volts usb c and i need an extension here and i don't have an extension on my desk yeah the cable is like one meter only Obviously, it's high amperage there. Okay, so let's use this multimeter to fix this laptop. What do you think? Huh? Let's do it. So this is a Samsung laptop. I have the charger. Let's see the charger. We need to check the voltage. Voltage, so that's the charger. And we have 19.5. You can see on the multimeter, 19.5 volts. Plug in the charger, and obviously, like usual, nothing happened. You can press the power button, nothing happened. And also, we don't have the, we should have a, a light somewhere, right here, yeah. Should be here a blue light when you plug the charger, and it's no light. Okay, so let's open this one and fix it with the multimeter. You'll find a link on the description about this multimeter. But nice people, nice people, when they took something out, they, they asked me, sorry, do you want to review this? And I want to say, yeah, yeah, I want it. It's like, it, it can even use it like a tweezer. <laughs> nice. Let's open this. Give me one second. Give me one second.
Okay, let's open this quickly. This is a very well known laptop, it's a Samsung. It's a bit old, but the old stuff, they are easy to be fixed. Many times, like, we have these small desks and the TV, we open the TV there, it's a big desk. And my multimeter, it's a bench multimeter. And we need a multimeter there. But this, this is extremely portable. Extremely portable. And, uh, yeah, on the end of the day, it's just a multimeter. But it's more than that because you can generate audio and it's very helpful for me when I'm, 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 I'm fixing audio amplifiers I can generate signal because it's hard I have to find a wire and plug on the computer and search a song on the computer and play the song just to test the amplifier But if you have a signal generator, like this small one, it's extremely helpful. There are no screws on the hard drive. So possible this been opened before, because it's from, uh, it's no hard drive, it's from a computer shop. It's from another computer shop, so probably they tried to fix it before. If they try to fix it, probably it's not the charging port, so some must be something with the motherboard. Uh, here are no screws. Uh, we have RAM memory. But that's good, because it means we have a motherboard fault, which is, is good for our video. Keyboard screws, and I think it's one more here. Okay. Right. And one more here. Oh, this is open. Okay, that's all. I don't know what is coming out. The back cover or the front cover? Because if it's the front cover, the top one, we have to... Take out the keyboard, yeah, okay. Remember the, the new models of Samsung, the back, the back cover is coming out. The keyboard has some clips here. And here, I think it's one more here. So the keyboard is out. Let's leave the keyboard on one side. Take out the touchpad, yeah. Speakers. And now we can lift this. You see, it's so simple. That's what I told you. The old ones have a power button here. It's a big, big button. Charging port. Okay, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. So we have the charging port and it's covered on some glue, but it's not. It's not hot glue. So like how I told you, someone fix it. Let's plug the charger and check. Maybe the charging port is good. But. I have a bad feeling about that charging port. Multimeter. So, multimeter volts. 
And we have ground, and we have these carbon resistors, and... We have... What do we have? Nothing. We have no, we have no voltage. Zero volts. Ah, this is just a charging port job. Hmm. So someone fix it and put something over. It wasn't me. This is not hot glue. Maybe it is hot glue. It's a charging board. Why they didn't fix it? Why they send it to me? Hey, it is hot glue. Oh. Okay, let's take the glue out. Hopefully you can see. Let's see, under the microscope, what is there? What is here? So we have a bridge there, the ground is bridged. That's the ground, which is okay if it's breached. It's okay. There's nothing wrong. So we have the plus on one side. Let's plug the charger again and check the check the voltage. Yeah, so check the ground. The ground is moving. Uh, you can't see, yeah? It's not on focus. We can see now. So you can see the solder is moving from the ground. Here. Here somewhere. Wait. A tweezer. Here, exactly on that point. You can see? So the problem can can be solved easily. Wow, made a spark. Let me unplug the charger. Well, it's okay if it's ground. I don't have to replace the charging port. I have only to solder the charging port. Okay, there is a capacitor. We have a lot of ground here. So from some reason let me take the hood the hood glue out. From some reason the ground just get this solder. Yeah, my solar iron. Because of the hot glue. Uh. Probably it's a good idea to just get rid of the hot glue, which I don't know how. And after that, 
How we can get rid of the hot glue from there? The ground is fine. No, these carbon resistors are uh, are plus. That should be fine. That's a nice bridge. Let's see, plug the charger. And we have green light here, you can see. Here, this green light here. And obviously we have, we are pressing the power button. The laptop is coming on and it's working fine. Obviously there's no hard drive inside. Oh, that was an easy job. I was expecting something more. And the voltage. I think the battery got discharged. Let me left, uh, leave it on charge. One second. Let me get the adapter. I was hoping to have the opportunity to use more, more than this multimeter. And also has a red light here, you know the charging light, so you know when it's charging. Oh, Zizi. So someone soldered the, the, the charging port. But the ground trucks there too was dodgy. But that's too easy. Maybe I can find something more. What a waste of time. Okay, so what do we, what we can check on the motherboard? Not too much because the whole po all the power supply are on the other side. But you can check things here. Even the super is on the other side. The voltage. So here probably is the chipset. And on the chipset, 1.4 volts. Hopefully you can see 1.4, yeah? What we can check? The processor is 0 0.9. You can see 984 millivolts. The input voltage, you can see 19.2. Hopefully you can see. And looks like this is the main power rail, main power rail. I try to keep it like you can see. I think it's the main power rail, I'm not sure. Or does not the ground, there's no ground there. Maybe it's not ground. But the ground should be here. What's this power rail then?
Now I'm curious. Why is no voltage here? Oh, yeah, it is voltage. That's the battery connector, okay, where we have 4 volts, but I can't see. How can I do it? Minus plus. Actually, it's not the 4 volts, it's on this one. It's, it's easy to work with, but not to show to uh, someone else on the on the camera. This must be the BIOS chip. Three point three. You can see three point three there. Three point thirty two volts. What do we have more here? We have a power supply. Which I don't know what he's doing, but we can check. Three point three, you can see on ah, you can't see. Three point three. Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. One point four series, some different voltage. It's useful to check things on the board. Oh. On the power button, we should have three point three. We should have 3.3. You can see? Ah, uh, you can't see, sorry. That's how we check the power button. So we have there 3.3, yeah? When you are pressing the power button, the voltage goes to zero. So that means the button is good. Okay? So I'll stop this video because it's kind of pointless. A charging port. I didn't expect to be a charge. If it will be a charging port, I don't even fix it. I give to my colleagues to fix the charging port. But it's coming from a computer shop and they send us what they can't fix. It was a charging port job. Anyway, I'll stop the video now. If you need a portable multimeter, this is nice. Okay? Anywhere. We'll use this in the future when we are fixing the audio amplifiers. Capacity. It's checking the capacity. You can check a capacitor. Or we can't. No, because we don't have a capacitor. If you need a capacitor, you can't find one. Or on the iPhone boards, this will be perfect. Coils. Can't see the point to check a coil. But yeah, you can check to, uh, to find out the inductance of a coil. Frequency. You can check frequency. Where? Frequency of a power supply. Yeah, that would be interesting. The problem is the whole power supply is on the other side, no, not on this side. So what, do we, what we can check? If this chip is a power supply, we should have somewhere the feedback. The feedback is exactly the... Okay, probably this is the one. And we have 66 kilohertz. So I'm not sure if this... Usually there are more, yeah? No, on this all no. 66 kilohertz. Yeah, can be, can be, on the old ones. On the new ones, they work around 200, 300 kilohertz. But on the old ones, the frequency is lower. Can be. Can be. Here we have another, another, uh, looks like uh, a power supply driver. Nothing. I 
I want to check stuff. Anyway, you will see this more in the future. Yes, I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. You'll find the link in the description with this toy. Yeah, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.